Salesforce technology is one of the leading technology in the IT industry. It is the world's number one customer relationship management platform and it's used by many Fortune 500 companies. It is one of those cloud computing technologies which have a bright futures in the upcoming years. So in today's session, we're going to talk about the top 10 reasons to learn Salesforce. But before we get into the reasons, I would like to start the session with a brief introduction to Salesforce. So basically, Salesforce is a cloud-based software company which provides customer relationship management service. Now, customer relationship management means a strategy or a technique which businesses or organization uses to administer its interaction with its customers. So basically, CRM system allows organization to manage the customer relationships and interaction through a single tool, which provides a better customer experience and improves business outcomes. Now, Salesforce services allows businesses to use cloud technology to better connect with the customers, partners, and the potential customers. Salesforce initially started as a software as a service CRM company, but now it provides various software solution and a platform for users and developers to develop and distribute custom softwares. Salesforce offers a variety of products for companies such as the Salesforce Sales Cloud, Marketing Cloud, Service Cloud, Community Cloud, Analytic Cloud, App Cloud, and a few other cloud services. Each of the services has its own functionalities and can be used by different teams in a company. Like the sales team can use the Sales Cloud, the support team can use the Service Cloud, and so on. Now, I guess you have some idea about Salesforce. Let us move on to a main topic for today and see what are the top 10 reasons to learn Salesforce. I start with one of the top reasons to learn Salesforce, which is the demand for Salesforce professionals is growing. According to a recent study by the International Data Corporation, there has been a huge increase in jobs that requires Salesforce skills. And also the Salesforce ecosystem is predicted to 3.3 million new jobs and over $850 billion in revenue worldwide by 2022. Salesforce being a fast growing company keeps on hiring for a variety of roles ranging from marketing and management to sales and engineers. So according to Glassdoor, there are 1,300 job openings in India for a Salesforce professional, with Bangalore having the highest of 354 job openings. While in the US, there are more than 31,100 job openings. This is just the data from one website. There can be many more jobs opening around you. Also in the coming years, there are going to be many more job opportunities for a skilled Salesforce professional. The next reason to learn Salesforce is because it offers an outstanding salary. As the demand for Salesforce professionals is growing, so is the salary for a skilled Salesforce professional also. The bottom line is, Salesforce skills leads to competitive salaries, whatever may be your role. On an average, job calling for Salesforce skills pay around 3.5 to 9 lakhs in India and somewhere around $90,000 to $100,000 in the United States. To categorize this even further, According to Glassdoor, the average salary for a Salesforce administrator in India is 5,17,000 and the average salary for a Salesforce administrator in the United States is $93,000. Next, according to Glassdoor, the average salary for a Salesforce developer in India is 5,03,000 and the average salary for a Salesforce developer in the United States is $101,000. Next, talking about the salary of a Salesforce consultant, the average salary for a Salesforce consultant in India is 9 lakhs and the average salary for a Salesforce consultant in the United States is $96,200. So these were just some of the major job role based salaries. Now let us move on to our next reason. The next interesting reason to learn Salesforce is the growth potential. Let's say you start a journey with Salesforce as some junior resource. We can move to the professional rank very quickly as compared to other work field which will require years of hard works and dedication to get promotion and move into the management position. Salesforce career are usually fast paced so you can advance very quickly from junior roles to senior and consulting roles and you can also choose to freelance if you want to. Now as your years of experience in Salesforce grow, your salary also grows at an exponential rate. And according to Burning Glass, Salesforce is one of the top 10 digital skills to boost your marketing career. So now to be a master in Salesforce, you need some analytics data science and programming expertise. All of these skills can help you excel in your career ladder, whether you're working in a marketing field or an IT field or even trying to launch your own business. Moving on to a next reason to learn Salesforce, which is high return of investments. Owing to the widespread application and relevance of Salesforce, you can be rest assured that you will get high returns on the amount of time you spent on getting trained in Salesforce. If you're a young graduate who has just entered into the world of business automation, 
good Salesforce training will solidify your position as a Salesforce professional in some of the best companies in the world. On the other hand, if you're already working as an IT professional, getting trained in Salesforce can help you increase your value as an employee. So what I'm trying to say is, if you spend some time, money and put in some efforts, after some time, you will definitely be benefited by it. You will learn a lot from Salesforce and earn a good salary. So it will definitely be a good investment. Moving on to the next reason to learn Salesforce, which is it is easy to learn. Before I start talking about this reason, I would like to say that there is no restriction like a particular category of people can only enter Salesforce. Anybody can start their career in Salesforce, but they definitely have to put in efforts to learn it because it is a combination of many latest technologies, for example, data science, cloud computing, and so on. So if you just started a career in Salesforce, you can learn from a variety of online courses and tutorial, which will help you understand the basic and advanced aspects of Salesforce and Salesforce development. To make this even more simpler for you, you can start learning Salesforce by watching our full course video on Salesforce for free, which will talk about cloud computing, Salesforce features, and its architecture. It will also talk about some Salesforce fundamental concepts, Salesforce development, Salesforce certification, and many more. It also contains hands-on demos, which will help you understand Salesforce better. And you can also try out all this demo. I will leave a link to the full course video in the description box below. Now, Salesforce also provide Trailhead, which is a documentation about Salesforce tools and concepts. You can refer it if you want to learn something about Salesforce, and this program is accessible to any users across the globe. So moving on to the next reason to learn Salesforce, it offers a promising future. Now, looking at the rate at which Salesforce adoption is going on, and the platform is gaining prominence, it is safe to say that Salesforce is going to be in demand for a very long time and will not go out of trend anytime soon. Business automation and CRM are not new trends anymore in the market. It's been adopted by many top companies. Everyone is making the switch or planning to change from traditional techniques to Salesforce due to its various benefits. Salesforce also reported that it will add data science capabilities to Service Cloud and Marketing Cloud. Service Cloud lets users automate customer service tasks, whereas Marketing Cloud lets marketer leverage data for predictive and targeted marketing. A report of 71% of businesses invest in business intelligence and big data. And of those, 20% have reported making substantial investment. So if Salesforce adopts these technologies, its profits are going to increase even more. Also, learning Salesforce will help you nourish your skills and will give you a better future in the years to come. It will help you stay ahead of your peers and be in sync with the latest technological advancements. So now moving on to a next reason to learn Salesforce, it is Salesforce is widely adopted. Many Fortune 500 companies use Salesforce technology. This is because Salesforce offers several innovative software as a service solution that enables businesses to use a common platform. Thus in turns works out to be less expensive and it's also packed with a lot of features like no other CRM software. Some of these features are contact management, workflow creation, various collaboration tool, customer engagement tools, beta analytics tools, desktop and mobile application, and a mobile ready dashboard. So now let me explain with an example how Salesforce CRM can be helpful. Well, imagine a company selling some products. Now the sales team of that company will generate a lot of data, which would include which customer is interested in which product, which product has to be delivered, where it has to be delivered, and many more. And the customer could be reaching out to the sales team through different platforms like emails, calls, social media, and so on. So now without Salesforce CRM, all this data would be stored in handwritten notes or either laptop, Excel sheets, or in the head of the salesperson. So without a common platform for customer interaction, communication can be missed or lost in the flood of information, which will lead to unsatisfactory response of the customers. And this would result in businesses not performing well. But with the help of Salesforce CRM, you get a clear overview of your customers. You can see everything in one place. It is a simple, customizable dashboard, which will tell the customer's previous history with the companies, the status of their orders, any outstanding customer service issues, and many other information. Therefore, companies use Salesforce Customer Relationship Management to gather, manage, and use the information for a better customer experience and to increase their profitability. Now, I guess you have some idea how Salesforce can be used. Let us move on to our next reason to learn Salesforce. Our next reason to learn Salesforce is it improves insights and analytical skills. Basically, Salesforce is meant to make you efficient. It helps you optimize and grow businesses. Now the question here is, how exactly does Salesforce improve insights and analytical skills? 
Well, Salesforce, as we know it, collects all the users or customer data and stores it in a centralized place. So after this, it will be your responsibility to draw meaningful insights from those data and then analyze ways to make your business or your company grow and also analyze how to improve your business profits. Once you learn how data can be helpful in decision making, you will be better in finding out what works and what doesn't work for your organization. Better yet, you can easily make improvements based on the past data or replicate result by utilizing the proficiency that you've gained from a previous experience using Salesforce. With this said, let us move on to our next reason to learn Salesforce. The next reason to learn Salesforce is it offers a diversity of career option. With Salesforce, you're not limited to a particular role or a department or a particular industry. This is because Salesforce is extremely useful and in demand across many sectors. So you have a variety of options to choose from. So let's say you've taken a job working in a finance sector and you get bored of it. You can easily move on to become an employee in software company or work in a manufacturing sector with the help of your Salesforce knowledge. Now talking about some of the various job roles in Salesforce, you can become a Salesforce administrator or a Salesforce business analyst or a Salesforce developer, a Salesforce functional consultant, Salesforce platform manager or a Salesforce solution architect or Salesforce technical architect or a Salesforce project manager. Generally speaking, the more certification you have, the more in demand you are and the more income you stand to make. Which brings us to the 10th reason to learn Salesforce, which is career enhancement. Learning Salesforce and preparing for Salesforce certification, you will acquire hard on skill by learning about the platform either from a technical perspective or a non-technical perspective. Now Salesforce certification not only improves your knowledge, but can also be very helpful during your job interviews as organization needs certified people. This is because clients generally prefer to work with companies whose employees are certified as it gives them assurance with regard to quality. So I would definitely advise you to get Salesforce certified. Essentially, you could become an administrator, developer, architect, or a consultant. It's up to you to decide which certification track suits you the most. As you continue to grow your skills in a particular certification track, you will gain advanced knowledge that will help you improve in a variety of ways. For example, let's say you've completed the Salesforce Administrator Certification. There is a further scope of learning and improvising with the Salesforce Advanced Administrator Certification. Having the certification means a lot because it would definitely make you stand out in the crowd and there would be hardly any Salesforce job that you cannot secure according to your expertise. So if you're thinking to start your Salesforce journey, I would highly recommend you to take Edureka's Salesforce Certification Training, which is curated by top industrial experts, which will be very helpful in finding your dream job. Here you will learn how to customize your application, including page layouts, fields, tabs, and business processes. It will also help you create secure Salesforce environment, maintain and import clean data, create high value reports and dashboard, and set up a workflow automation. So with this said, we've come to the end of this video. I hope this video was helpful. Do comment your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Happy learning.